Uh, would you let him go through your phone? Yeah. Right now, for the video? Yeah. I don't want to get my feelings hurt, bro. You gonna do that? You gonna do me like that? What? Which mean your feelings hurt? <laughs> I mean, you say you trust her, my guy, so. Alright. Phone? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what do you want to go through? We, go, we gotta go through Snapchat. You gotta get this in the video, Snapchat? too. Snapchat? Snapchat. What are we looking for? Uh, who, who's Trent? My friend? I don't know. We gotta look at the same. We gotta look at the chat. No, we can't look at the chat. <laughs> Bruv, you said at the beginning I don't want to get my feelings hurt, which means deep down you know there's something wrong. There's no point pushing it under the rug because it will come back and it will bite you in the ass. And the fact she says she doesn't want to show you what's on there just tells you everything you need to know. You don't even need to see what's on there now. You know there's someone that will probably fuck up the relationship. So you're going to have to grow a pair and send her where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. The mandem was fake security guards for the night. Yeah. Oh, can you get me in? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's an evil world we live in. So real quick, we're in New York City. Can you just name whatever comes to your head that women are just naturally better at than men? Texting. What? Eating, maybe. Drinking. Thinking. Acting. Prioritizing. Everything. <laughs> I was going to say everything. <laughs> And yourself? My gut reaction was everything. I mean, I just prefer girls in literally every possible way of speaking. And <laughs> like if I could go through life without interacting with men, that sounds like paradise. I guarantee that last girl with the short hair has got blue hair now. And it's hilarious she says that because most of the things that she uses in everyday life and the reason she's probably fucking standing there is because of men. Oh Harrison that's cute. It's no match my Lamborghini Aventador. Yeah nice car babe but you can't even park that let alone drive it. <laughs> so I've used this story a few times but uh, I was at this bar in Auckland and there was a, a table of like four dudes and two chicks and uh, I could tell one of the chicks was like the center of attention so when I came in the guys were just like no fucking way stop it what the fuck they were just showing me love and all that I could feel her energy and I could see her from the corner of my eye just like and then she came up she's like excuse me but who are you I was like uh, don't worry baby it's all good and then she came forcefully this time was like excuse me why is everyone giving a f who are you I don't know who you are and I was like, baby, I don't know who you are. And I just fired her off. I was like, I don't care. You don't know who I am, you know? But like the fact that she wanted to let me know that she didn't know who I was, I was like it was going to hurt my feelings. I was, and I was just like, baby, I don't know who you are. And I remember her face just like, it's like always say, the more unbothered you are, the more bothered they're gonna be. And the funny thing is, she probably wanted him, because why is she so interested by him? As soon as he walks in the room, all she cares about is him. All she's thinking about is him. I've tried to be a ho before, and it it left me heartbroken. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Uh, what? Because most women can't have sex without an emotional connection. It's not healthy physically or mentally to sleep with numerous people. The problem is with some of these women, by the time they realise this, it's too late. Because guys don't want a woman that's been with a lot of men. I don't like commitment. I don't do no motherfucking relationship. You don't do relationship? Nah, that shit dead for the motherfucking bird. Uh, I'm not the marrying type. I don't do marriage. Yeah, let's see if you still got this attitude when you're a little saggier at 40, 50 years old. Yeah. I don't know that I'm saying this now because I literally just realised it a few, I'll say about, it sounds crazy, about two years ago. Men out there actually have genuine feelings. Like, it sounds so crazy. It sounds a lot crazier you having a realisation that men are human beings and have feelings. And this is what a lot of women do. They remember that one bad experience they had in a relationship and they attach it to every other man. Well, I'm saying shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be asking me, I'm going home. Bye, bitch. What's the craziest thing you got the ick for? I don't like to see happiness sometimes. 24 and 32 are two different age groups and two different stages of life. That's right, Malia Obama was seen with a man eight years older than her. Let's examine some other unhealthy celebrity relationships. Audrey Plaza is 38 and her husband is seven years older. Speaking of power imbalances, Travis Scott is six years older than Kylie Jenner. What kind of agency does a 25 year old billionaire have? Zendaya is 25 and Tom Holland is 26. 
I know it's only one year, but we all know that women's frontal cortexes don't fully develop until they're 25 and a half, making her completely unable to make her own decisions. Now, just in case some of you misread his tone, the guy's joking, he's being sarcastic. He's more or less pointing out how ridiculous it is that people are saying this is a problem. Never mind, I just realized that I don't even have my wallet. Honey, I'm your husband. I was gonna pay anyway. Look how beautiful you're gonna look in this. Are you kidding me? Babe, left my wallet at home. Well, she just start putting stuff back then. <laughs> Sensational. Ladies, don't be son. a deadbeat mom. And as you can see, I didn't get my son. And I got witnesses here. This girl literally comes here, parks the car right next to my car. She tells me not to wake my son up because he's asleep in the car. So I tell my homeboy right here that he had to move over and she got mad and now she's leaving my son. The only reason why she's still acting like that is because she still wants you. But the problem is, and the most fucked up thing about the whole situation is she's using the kid. Kids should be priority, not her feelings. That's why you gotta be so careful about who you have a kid with. If she can't be an adult and separate your problem for the kid's sake, then that's just gonna make your life difficult. I don't think men are good people. I don't think they're good people. The reason for that, and I truly believe that, the reason for that is for men to do things that they consider smart in the flesh of like cheating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know that that's going to destroy your partner but you do it anyway yeah. mm -hmm. and just because i'm a woman i'm supposed to accept your betrayal right have you ever cheated in a relationship that's exactly what i was about oh uh, yes yeah. i've cheated huh you know where she belongs she belongs to the streets